conferência de imprensa com Cristina Mladenovic, a primeira finalista deste Figaro da Foz Ladies Open. Cristina, congrats for the win into the final. It was a tough match with the win, the conditions. Maybe you were both nervous because you know each other. How did you feel on the court? Yeah, it was a, a difficult match. It's never easy when you, you play a friend and somebody you know really well. It was funny because we've been uh, warming up uh, almost all week and today we play against each other but we stick to our routine <laughs> so it tells you a lot um, about our relationship you know this morning we warm up uh, together before the match and uh, it's for sure not easy because uh, there's tensions tension because you you know each other's game well and and it's always uh, special to play against a friend especially in the semi-final because you know, it's an important game and uh, both of us wanted to reach uh, the final, obviously. Uh, it was uh, big at stake, you know, but um, overall I thought um, we, we produced some some good game, you know, it was a uh, lots of wind. Uh, we we struggled, both of us, on our uh, service games, but I think also the both of us returned really well, so it was lot, lots of breaks, but... Um, you know, this is how it is. We, you have to do the best you can with the wind. It's definitely not easy to serve, but uh, close one, very close one, and I'm happy actually. I, I hold my serve towards the end of both sets, and uh, this is what made the, the difference. And you had dinner together as well last time, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, dinner as well uh, together, watching uh, the end of the, the ceremony mm -hmm. together on TV, and uh, yeah, good friends, never easy. But uh, I think it was a positive week for both of us. And, and how was it for you, like you said yesterday, as a French to watch the ceremony on TV? It must have been special. Yeah, it was definitely uh, special. Uh, I didn't watch it full, the whole, because we were at dinner. So I saw the beginning, maybe not everything in the middle. And uh, of course, I saw the end with the, the French uh, boat and uh, uh, all the ceremony uh, towards the end. Uh, it was, uh, it was special for sure. Just to go back a little bit, uh, how tough was it for you to play with the win today? Because it seemed even more tricky than, than in the other days. And then a straight set win after three battles in the yeah. other days. It's a good news for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was still quite long for two yeah. sets, uh, I think. But uh, yeah, like I said, it was about uh, finding a way today. It's, uh, it's not easy because when there's lots of wind, you know, you you cannot really go full for your shots, you have to take a bigger margin. Um, I, I like to play aggressive and maybe when uh, there's less wind, you, you aim for more you know, lines and more angles and, and so on. So um, today I had to go more simple, try to keep the ball in play more in the court, sometimes not as fast as I would like to, you know, trying to, be, to play smart. And also with the part that we know each other, it was you know, even more difficult. And uh, the challenge was on the serve, you know, uh, for the toss, it's very difficult. So it was tricky because we kept on losing serves, breaking each other. And um, I'm happy I, I stay calm and uh, I needed uh, one break and one hold to yeah. convert the set. And this is what happened in both sets. So uh, uh, this, this was the biggest challenge today. You had such, such tough battles. Physically, you're feeling well today. How did you manage to uh, recuperate from that? Uh, the beginning of the match was uh, intense. I felt I felt we had uh, some some rallies where I really had to push, uh, you know, with my muscles on the um, on this side, and uh, I was kind of suffering middle of first set, and then, you know, somehow I just kept on on pushing, and uh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I have to say I'm surprising myself uh, quite a bit because I had really difficult matches and uh, to to manage to you know stay also calm and not frustrated and keep on you know looking for solution in uh, difficult conditions uh, it's really positive like I'm I'm happy it's a, it's a, how to say uh, I would give a good note to myself for the <laughs> physical part this week it's uh, it's amazing I gave myself uh, the chance to, to play one more match tomorrow and to reach the you know the last day of the tournament. It was a fairly tennis dominated ceremony yesterday. Yeah. As a tennis player what, what is your take on, on that? Well that was absolutely amazing. Uh, of course I'm super proud that 
you know tennis was uh, representing like this at some point i was feeling uh, how to say embarrassed i was like there's also other sports you know like there was uh, <laughs> rafa serena uh, uh, moresmo all those tennis players amazing of course it was uh, so nice Luckily, they, they mixed it up <laughs> towards the end, but um, no, it's, it's, it says a lot. Um, I mean, I'm aware of this, but it means a lot to, to, to see that our sport is uh, it's so big and um, it was very nice. Yeah. When the, the, the Olympics came back to tennis in the 80s, before you were born, Uh, people, uh, players didn't really care about the Olympics because the Grand Slams are tennis Olympics. But you, you come from a family that, from the eastern side of, uh, to, of Europe, where they always gave a lot of importance yeah. to the Olympic Games. What is uh, your uh, growing up? What was the culture around your household regarding the Olympic Games? Yeah, like you said, I think it comes lots of. Um It comes from the education, from the culture. Um, my family is amazing. I mean, uh, my, my mom was a professional volleyball player, my dad a professional handball player, and uh, you know, those sports, the, the peak competitions are the World Championship, the Olympics, and uh, it's the, you know, the top of the top. Like, the, 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 the dreaming, the living, working for, for these tournaments, these achievements. So, growing up, I was, uh, For sure, it was very special. Even me starting with tennis, you know, I was like, this is an individual sport, it's not a team sport, it was different, but somehow with them, they nurtured me like this passion for the, you know, Olympic Games, for representing the country. It's, uh, it was very special for me from the beginning, so this is always something I was uh, respecting so much and carrying such a big passion, you know, to not only care about my uh, individual career, but as well for, for the team, because you're playing for a team, you're playing for a country, you're playing for a flag, for, for people, you know, I believe uh, sports brings joy to, to people in general. This is what I want to believe myself, as well as a big fan of other sports. I, I love watching and feeling the emotions the other athletes uh, deliver to you, to, uh, like through their, their efforts and their, They're the fighting, so um, so yeah, I have this in me. It's true that maybe in tennis, not everybody grew up with this uh, feeling, like you said, because uh, tennis from the beginning was not an Olympic sport, and uh, you know, maybe you have different opinions, but uh, I always uh, respect it so much. And like I said in the previous interview, I was. Uh, honored and very lucky to be part of three Olympics. They was the best, you know, experiences of, of my life, something that you, you cannot describe. You really have to 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 live it, to <laughs> to feel it, to believe it. And it's a big proud to, to represent um, a country and you always try to, to give the best example. Um, question. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we saw Serena, you actually Played Serena, a, a, a tremendous battle. I, I knew you were talking I remember the match that we had, we had chances, and then she, in the locker room, she uh, she congratulated you, which Roland back Gans. then was not was not uh, a usual thing for Serena to congratulate other players. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, in your year, you were number 10 in the world. What makes you, what motivates you? Is you, is it the love for the game or your competitive nature? Because you were born in a competitive environment. Yeah, may, maybe both, uh, you know, this is tennis I've been doing my whole life from a little girl I've been dreaming to have a career and uh, I'm living my dream. It's true that I'm having a more difficult period with ranking wise and probably not playing the tournaments I would love to, but you know, I had physical issue. I know why I'm there and I'm really loving what I'm doing. This is why I still believe that You know, I want to, to come back there and feel those emotions again and like you said, playing on the big stages like those against those legends and playing the Grand Slams, the biggest competition in our sport. This is what I'm looking forward to and this is why I do all these uh, efforts and, you know, all day long uh, to slowly, hopefully get back there and uh, yeah, it's really the competitiveness, the passion for the sport and uh, 
those emotions because like you said uh, playing on on Chatrier it's true I lost to Serena actually the both times I played her I, <laughs> I lost it was Roland Garros uh, I think uh, third round and Wimbledon as well I, I lost to her it was maybe also third round or second round but uh, yeah I I respect her so much and uh, this was a uh, an amazing moment to share uh, for me in the locker room because um, yeah I heard that it didn't happen often <laughs> that uh, she did that but uh, uh, probably she also appreciated the, the battle there but in fairness and uh, of course I, I grew up watching her um, and then suddenly she's on the other side of the net and I want to beat her. I didn't manage to, but of course, at the end, I had nice words for for the legend she is, and probably she appreciated uh, my person. So she is very nice as well, I must say, and uh, she she speaks some French too. So that was uh, interesting. Was. Now into the final, your first of the season. How does that make you feel, and what do you expect from tomorrow? Um, one more, one more to, to push through. Uh, it's true that um, I woke up tired today, I, I have to admit, but uh, I'm very happy I pushed my limit uh, for one more today. I, I want to have the same uh, spirit, you know, I will do, it's a little bit earlier today, I believe. I want to, to do the maximum I can for recovery and uh, just give it all tomorrow. I don't know how much left I will have in the tank, but, um, Final is a final. It's uh, for sure the most difficult match of the week because you accumulated, uh, you know, fatigue and all the situation, and uh, and everybody wants to win the the last match of the week. It will be very nice. So doesn't matter who I play. I think I I have to be I have to be there 100 percent of the day and uh, and fight till the end. Do you do you know them? I saw your brother on the way to watch. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, we know more Zakharova, uh, she's been playing some, some great tennis lately, especially on Grand Slams, having uh, some good wins and she's up and coming, I would say. Uh, to be really honest with you, the Japanese girl i never seen before, she was probably m more on the uh, Asian um, um, tournaments so far, but uh, as well, climbing up the rankings and if she, she's still in the competition, it means she, she has great qualities as well. So we're gonna prepare the match. Great, thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. Thank you.